An effective move, and I think it's also his mentality. He's trying to, to trick defenders and elude them instead of you know trying to draw contact. Calderon kicks to Diaw. Here's Calderon. Minnesota with the rebound. Wright's got three rebounds now in this one. This game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding is one thing that they've been able to, to dominate. Yeah, they've chased down that pumpkin often. <laughs> Double team on Boozer. Not loose. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Charlotte Charlotte's takes possession. Ball. Where was he going with that pass? I mean, that's just an awful turnover. Here's Calderon. Right outside. Kicks it to Turioff. Calderon for three. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. He hit a three in the first, but so far has been unable to capitalize here in this quarter. And Holiday kicks to Mary. Back to Holiday. Shot clock at six. Boozer inside. Diaw on him. Boozer, no good. And here's Calderon. Aflalo dishes to Diaw. Bangs home the trifecta. Diaw's got nine. He's picking up right where he left off in the first quarter. And Holiday kicks to Wiggins. Back to Holiday. Right inside. Working on Turioff. And finished off by Wright. Boy, I like the way he carved out just enough space to get his hands on the missed shot. And then rattle the rim on the put mm -hmm. And the gap narrow. They're closing it fast. Well, that's the effort of a team ready to fight back into this game. Diaw can't hit. Minnesota calls timeout. Horace Diaw, pretty unique player in the NBA. Came into the league as a passing point forward, but became a small forward and then really a, a four. But he's a crafty passer and he can score a little bit from the outside. Very difficult player to guard. And you look at Diaw playing the four. Some have criticized his condition, but he has the size to hold his ground. That's for sure on the low block. Yeah, you can't move him out of there. He's a good post defender because he's strong and smart. Not as good moving in space, though. Lacks a little lateral quickness. He's a below average rebounder, so it's good to pair him with somebody that does glass eat. Al Jefferson's checked in for Charlotte. Blake comes in for Jose Calder. Here's Exum. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. Exum's got his first bucket in this one. Blake passes to Dia. And stolen by Blake. Here's Henry. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Here in the second quarter, they've made all of their shots from the foul line. And that's a must-do when you're down. And the first one drops. It's not very often you can say this about the future is looking pretty bright in Charlotte. So often the season ends and you're thinking about the issues you've got to deal with, but right now the Hornets headed in a good direction. Catching up on the changes for Charlotte. Barnes comes in for Darrell Wright. And it's Kent Bazemore in for Aaron Aflalo. Here's Blake. Jefferson kicks to Blake. A three ball. And Wright pulls it down. Wright's got five rebounds tonight. And for Charlotte, as you said, you know, part of it is feeling good with their direction, but also they should feel good that they actually have a direction the way the last few years ago. Now here's Barnes. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Ball's not loose. Now here's the fast break. Stuckey leading the way. 
Here's Wright. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. He didn't get off to much of a start early on, but he seems to have shaken off the rust here in the quarter. Jeffy Green's checked in for Boris Dia. You know, having a direction, as you mentioned, had been a problem with Charlotte because they seemed to change their minds every year about who they were going to be, and they did it for the last decade or so. Now it seems as though the, the base is solid, and they've got an idea of how they want to build and who they want to build around, and they've got a group that can grow together. Minnesota in the lead. Pass to Henry. Out to the right wing. Here's Exum. The shot no good. And it's the Hornets taking it the other way. Fast break now for Charlotte. Out of bounds. Minnesota takes possession. Where was he going with that pass? I mean, that's just an awful turnover. Jose Calderon. He's checked in for Charlotte. There's 154 left in the first half. Exum dishes to Henry. Pass to Blair. Got a piece of it. Feeds it to Calderon. Adrian kicks to Barnes. Right with the double team. In the corner, Baysmore with it. Defense and Dante Exum picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Calderon kicks to Adrian. Back to Calderon. Shot clock at six. Here's Jefferson. A terrific shot on the turnaround. Jefferson's got the game tied up here for the Hornets. And turnovers, Clark and Steve, have been the issue for him. Yeah, it sure has been the case. I mean, turnovers are like missing breakfast. Eventually, it's going to cost you. <laughs> Why does it always come back to food, Clark? <laughs> How about that now? What a sensational finish. Oh, got to be able to get some hang time to do that. One. Yeah, you got to rise and Sus levitate. Suspend yourself. Yeah, yeah levitate. Oh, God, and glide. So and glide. you got to glide. Watch <laughs> out! Wow, that was unbelievable. Look at that. How about that? Look at that. Inside, the rim rattling two handed jam. This game's going to take a big swing. Clark, if the D continues to clear out like that and give up easy dunks. Yeah, that's the kind of defense we expect to see Come in a on. blowout, Kevin, or even a exhibition game, not a close game like this. Look and how you know, frustrated Steve is on Well, it. I he just, just you know what, Kevin? Come on, Kevin. I, I just like that he didn't choose to just lay it up there. I mean, he threw it down with force. He is an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. You know, he picks the simple one-handed stuff to get the two points. And yeah, those could be an important two points, too, guys, in a close game like this one. Here's Stucky. Close game as we wrap up the second quarter. Timberwolves lead by four. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. Welcome back, everybody. The start of the second half getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first half. We watched Jefferson play great basketball. He's got 17 points and some of his offense coming at the foul line with five points there. Uh, five pretty big points, Clark. And it's been a back and forth game so far with no ground given through the first half. Third quarter starting here now. What can you say? Al Jefferson, an impressive effort here today. Well, he shot his share of free throws, that's for sure. I mean, he got to the line, drew contact. And you love getting to the free throw line. Easy points if you can get them. Steve, I think they may have to rotate the defensive assignment on him from now on just to avoid foul trouble on any one player. I mean, he's drawing a lot of fouls on guys. Timberwolves leading by four. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. On the court for the Hornets, 
Calderon is up there with Kurt Baseborn. Then it's Jeff Adrian. Then there's Al Jefferson. And it's Barnes in the small forward position. And Holiday kicks to Wiggins. Cuts it five from 18. And it's off the back rim. No good. To the wing right side. Screen by Jefferson. Here's Barnes. Good D by Lopez. Boy, for my taste, he's far too inconsistent with that shot. I mean, he's got to make those if he's going to take his game to the next level. Now here is Holiday. And he's going up for the alley-oop. Lopez passes to Holiday. That is good. Holiday's got the lead up to four now for the Timberwolves. Easy little jump shot for him right there, guys. Passes it to Baseman. And stolen by Wiggins. Here's Marion. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. Yeah, the defense looking to protect the rim at all costs. Yeah, I like that. A foul to save the layup. Make him earn it at the line. And these are his second and third free throws tonight. Sean Marion with 15 years in the NBA, a very good 15 years, basically talked about retiring even though he was still playing well at the conclusion of last season. Although I guess he did have a change of heart. Hornets trail 5-6. Holiday against Calderon. Here's Bazemore. He's got seven. Just five on the clock. Fires from deep. Charlotte again missing. It just hasn't been a very good day for him, guys. They need him to start burying some of those. And Holiday kicks to Lopez. Marion outside. Here's Boozer. Takes the 12 footer and hits. Boozer's got 10 points. They're perfectly content to keep going to that mid-range jumper. If the defense is going to give it to them, they'll take it all day. Yeah, why not? I mean, you, you have to just take what's there, and as long as you're moving the ball and getting good shots, that's all that matters. Solid job by them on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in rebound. Well, you have to rebound to win, and, and that's exactly what's happening right now. Lopez dishes the Wiggins. That one wide left. That's a tough one there because he's wide open. That's a shot he expects to make. Lopez kicks to Mary. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot too. He's made all three of his free throws so far. And as a 78% foul shooter last season, he was pretty steady at the line. Some changes for Charlotte. Boris Diaz checked in for Jeff Adrian. Wright comes in for Barnes. And it's a follow in for Kent Bazemore. Right around three minutes into the second half. Diaz, the screen. Calderon passes to Diaz. Back to Calderon. Their offense, Stone Cold. Another miss there. One for five on offense. A slow start here in the second half. Wiggins dishes to Holiday. Pushing their lead to double digits. Holiday's got 19 points. Well, I doubt that was the plan there on that trip, guys. But uh, they did get the shot to go. And the foul on Drew Holiday. And that'll be his third foul so far. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. They double him with Boozer. Nice pass in here by Charlotte. Six on the shot clock. Here's Diaw from about 16. And yes, sir, that one drops. Diaw's got 11 points. And Holiday kicks to Boozer. And he is flushed down with a nice jam. Boy, 